Hello, my name is John Liu, Flow Ninja, and I wanted to do more quicker, shorter videos. So let's get started. This one is on how to work with multiple choices within a Microsoft form when you send that over through Power Automate, which was Microsoft Flow, into other data sources such as SharePoint. Okay, and this is a demo, this is a survey in Microsoft Form I created back in February 2019. So it's uh yeah, well it's it's over a year ago. Used it in a few conferences since, so there's been a lot of uh, replies. But basically, uh we can you nominate your name because it's anonymous, so you don't know who the who the form filler is. So we ask what is your name and what is your favorite power? In fact, you can pick many one or many choices and you can also specify your own choice. So if we quickly do a preview, you could see, hey, my name is John Liu. And uh, my favorite power is of course flow. But increasingly also power automate. And I actually quite like SharePoint as well. So let's just do that. I hit submit. And then if I quickly toggle over here, you'll see this is my SharePoint list that's been set up. And as we are speaking, that entry is filled in. And you can see that SharePoint Power Apps and Power Automate are filled in. Quickly show you that item. You'll see Power Apps and Power Automate are existing choices and SharePoint is a new custom one. Okay. Uh, and also quickly checking the list settings. Uh, options is a sorry choices column is a choice it is choice it has these defaults it allows multiple selection and it allows fill in so this allows any kind of custom field to be filled in okay so that is the setup now uh, let's look at the flow and um, this was something this is the one that I built in February 7 February previous year so February 2019. I tweaked it in December for the uh, another conference that we had here. Um, and this is the new one that I've built. Um, this is a very quick new one that I built recently just to demonstrate the kind of the trick of working with uh, option sets in Flow. And you can see that's a minute ago. That's the one that we just submit. And um, if I quickly show you the run output, So this flow is actually pretty easy to, pretty simple to look at. Uh, we take the response, so that's the response trigger standard. We have to get the details of that response. So take the response ID from the trigger, get the details. And you will see that the options, this one, comes in as a JSON array. See this, it's got SharePoint, Power Apps, Power Automate. So JSON array that looks like this. Okay, that's the raw, but if you look at the value, it's like this. Okay, then the next part really is that we take this JSON array. And because we know it's JSON, we can turn that into an array directly and then use a select action to pass it into this format where we say for each of these elements, we want to say make a key called value and then just create this result and that's exactly the format that SharePoint wants. SharePoint choices wants an array of uh, these choices and these are sent to SharePoint and SharePoint responds with OK. So you see how it's all set up. SharePoint, that's a custom value. It's a negative one because it's a custom. Uh, then you have one, two, these are existing choices. Okay, so that's all it does and let's quickly drop into the edit and have a look at this flow. So there's only a few tricks here. There are no um, there are no uh, variables. I don't use variables. Um, now I am using the new new uh, script editor, but if you if you are using still the old classic editor, uh, you may have to type this. But basically we type um, let me start over. So we use the function called JSON, which turns a string into JSON. And the value that we know is from this uh, response detail. Now you may not be able to see it. Let's have a look. 
no that filter is not working particularly well so let's do something like this now add the action above do a compose and simply do um, what is your favorite power of the power platform that one okay and you see um everything in microsoft form the christians have these strange christian ids they're a little bit hard to digest um but anyway that's what it, it, it is there's another thing a trick we can do is we can use here expressions and then click what's your favorite power and that gives us this expression okay so we want that but we want that because that's a string we want to wrap that in json function like so and that's going to give us a json array okay and then we use that right here that's the same thing oh so paste that in here and then you get this okay json array let's add a comment that's that now the next part is this um map so for each of these json array which you can imagine is three strings sharepoint power apps power automate um we want to map each one of this array into this thing and here is we want to create an object with a file with the key called value and then the item is each element so we're just typing the expression so if you get rid of this um, you can just go to expression and type item so the item refers to each element uh, of the array that you map through which is this okay so that will create the array and then the actual sharepoint is very easy we switch into the advanced mode so the title is what is your name that's the question and then for choices um, you may see this interface first but we switch into the advanced mode which looks like this delete this and then just put the output of the select here so this will map the single array of strings into an array of objects each one has value and then the value name and then we put that into sharepoint directly so that's that um you don't we don't actually need this at the end so i can delete this i merely use it to help me build the string we can get rid of this it's not really used and uh, that's it so that works that um you don't have to do any kind of funny pass of square brackets or commas or uh, deal with kind of you can even do encoded characters so let me show you so this one is i basically just rerun it and if we pop back to options you will see oh it's got all right let's run it again and even if i pop over to forms and let's say i do another response and i'm being particularly evil i'm gonna do all these funny comma characters uh, <laughs> hopefully it works i don't actually know it may just not work um let's see oh crazy it just went through and look at that that went right into sharepoint as a funny character string so um because we're treating the whole value as json passes through json we're not doing any kind of string manipulation where we have to detect or exclude certain characters okay so json keep everything in json and then uh we have a much simpler time okay that's this short video i uh, hope you like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye